Insect Nuke review of Bootsack et al. 2022 Phylogeny of Termites Data is on GitHub, interestingly. First time I saw this. Now, this makes sense if this code also, which there is. Always great to see if, you know, if you're doing a working on a similar process, you can see how see how someone else has done it and hopefully learn a few things. Anyway, data is as you see, see data is uploaded to GitHub. So got one of these, let's take a look. And we have codes followed by taxonomic names. So I'm part way through pulling these out. And even though not not finished, I already have somehow 40 regular expressions to, to deal with really remarkable diversity in, in the codes. And it's a bit hard to understand how this occurs. If you have 10 items and you want to code them, then your first one you would be coded one, second one two, third one three, or the first one would be A, second one would be B. What you wouldn't do is you wouldn't have the first one one, second one A uppercase, third one A lowercase, fourth one 1 1.4, fifth one, let's call it insect, sixth one, call it 79 hyphen 2 hyphen df point 1 and so on. Uh, but this is exactly what we've got here. First one, fine, looks a bit like a NCBI accession. Then we've got something which doesn't. Because only four numbers. Then we've got uppercase letters, numbers, hyphen, numbers. Then we've got two numbers, two, two letters, pulled by numbers, hyphen, one number, four letters with no hyphen followed by number, then lowercase letters followed by numbers, lowercase letters, numbers, hyphen, number, and on and on, uppercase followed by lowercase letters, hyphen, uppercase letters, letters, hyphen, that is numbers hyphen numbers. Then we've got these are mostly separated by hyphens. This one has the code with an underscore separated, which normally the under underscore is also separating the codes from the taxon. So this is a bit concerning. Again, more complex underscore separated with the codes. And on and on, looks like a date hyphen and a number. This one had to duplicate, it's even difficult to track this one. We've got letter, number, hyphen, letter, hyphen, number, hyphen, number, hyphen, letters, underscore, and then the taxonomy. Similar. We've got a dot within the code. This might be from NCBI. Then we've got a word, uppercase word for the code. Got a uppercase letter, lowercase, then up, ending in an uppercase, then an underscore and a number. Similar but with a hyphen. And still it goes on somehow on and on. This bit concerning because this would this component might look like a start of a might, this might look like a genus. So I've directly written this out. 
So, I mean, how, why is this? Um, you know, sometimes you can start off as a coding system and, you know, life gets in the way and the system breaks down and you know, we've all been there. Um, maybe these codes were from other places, maybe specimen they had, or each had unique coding systems and they've put those on. But um, who knows? But this does make it awkward to pass the process. Uh, so this is mostly done. Let's have a look first at what we've got now. See if we're anywhere near. Uh, just, just trying to pick out something I do like about the coding. Um, I, I do like this. So this is unid. Now, to the uninitiated, it might think, well, why, why write this twice? And I can see the thinking here, because the, the taxon component is comprised usually two parts, genus and species. So they've, I guess I've replicated this, and I do like that. Anyway, let's take a look what we've got now. So these are mostly now neatly written. Uh, this one will need to be pruned. We've missed one here. Let's just copy this name. Okay, so checking terminals and R, fine. Now we have species repeats. These are species, species ambiguous. Terminals and this, of course, needs to be pruned. Species repeats. Uh, more species repeats. And I think first I'm going to manually prune these things because my, my scripts cannot cannot read them. This incident there, yeah, this is Archaeopteryx tree viewer. Um, it's capable of reading extremely large trees. I recommend this one. So I'll just prune this. Okay, so I've deleted 110 from this. These are uninformative for, or un, not uninformative generally, but they're unintegratable to other data. And this is what we have remaining. Quite, uh, this is ideal um, terminal format. Well, as far as I can see, a lot of these are not on this figure. So, this is going to take me a while to figure out the orientation of this. I'm confused because this, the out group is, is on here. Uh, so, I mean, it would save a lot of confusion if authors clearly gave their preferred result and labelled it as such and as, ma as matching their matching their figure uh, in any case the most difficult thing was done that was a ter terminal processing and well now they I'm not still not clear about the orientation but this is at least it's a uh, the tree, although it's maybe unrooted and can be used for 
for synthesis. So I'll call that job done. 